So something mildly funny just happened. Uh, sort of like a 50-50 on the scale. So we were walking through uni and the two little boys were playing with their ball, which I find quite funny. And he grabbed it and he launched it up in the air. <laughs> and it went on one of the roofs and he couldn't get it down. And I was fairly tall. So I tried to reach up the top and get it down, but I couldn't reach. So a nice woman on one of the stalls uh, gave me her gave me her stall, her seat um, to stand on. So I stood on it, couldn't quite reach it. And then my foot went straight through her stool and completely ruined her stool. I felt really bad. And I used the broken stool to get the ball down. The little boy didn't really care. He was like shocked that I broke the stool, uh, but I feel bad. So I'm gonna get out some money and then I'm gonna try and buy her another stool. Hopefully she hasn't got a bought her own and hopefully she's still there. <laughs> Where was it to? Just need to find it now. Look for the one with the broken seat. <laughs> Now I feel a bit weird because I'm just walking around carrying a seat because I can't find her because she's not there at the moment. I think she's gone for something to eat. Um, but at least I can sit down wherever I want now. <laughs> Literally feel like such a twat right now. So she's still not there. I've been walking past. It's been like an hour or more and she still hasn't come back. And I feel like such a twat because I'm walking around these like markets and going into shops carrying this fucking chair everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm trying to do a good deed and it's just turned into more of a hindrance. I might just have to just leave it there and then run off. <laughs> So the woman wasn't there, but luckily the person who witnessed it, who has the shop next to was there, so she realised I bought her a new chair and hopefully the kids understood my shitty broken Spanish, but yeah, good deed for the day done. <laughs>